So this is it, our first day of proper riding and filming here in Madeira. And as you guys know and have seen, we're not only filming trail riding for the Lone Ranger channel, but we're also putting together some kind of higher concept videos for the Pole Bicycle Company. And Beth and I have never done anything like this before. So we were excited and pretty nervous about it. I also got word that later on in the day, I might be able to get my hands on the prototype Pole Stamina Bike. So I was pretty pumped about that. First day of riding. First day of riding, finally. Yesterday was a rain day, so we just kind of took it easy and got ourselves together. And now today we're getting to it, so. Yeah, man. Look at the weather out here. Ryan's over here shooting. Perfect. Look at that. It's a beautiful day and a beautiful man. All right, we just finished up this really amazing shot on this. Well, look at the place. It's been pretty crazy so far. We're trying to always be catching the light, getting shots of the boys, but now we get to ride the line we just filmed them doing. And trying out this machine. It's a size medium, and I'm usually a size large. So that's been a little interesting. And I also just slapped it together last minute. So hopefully all the bolts are tight. Yeah, John has been awesome. He's a local. He's helped out or been the main guy for creating or like kind of being the man on the ground for for death grip, for like brunies. Well, like every single awesome edit you've ever seen from Madeira, John is the man that was really behind putting all that stuff together. So I'm thinking he knows his stuff. Now it's just up to me to like, you know, not screw it up. No pressure, right? Let's. Lots of big rocks. I haven't even looked at what my suspension setup is. I had no time to dial in this bike whatsoever. So, we're just gonna enjoy this trail. <laughs> Oh, the brakes. I got no brakes. Oh, incredible. Oh, it's so loose. Yeah, first time actually riding our bike so far. Other than this, we've just been like... Yes. Yeah, these brakes aren't working that well. <laughs> and it's so loose. It's like that big, bigger chunk kind of loose. This is unreal. It's like such volcanic kind of rock. See Lee struggling in front of me there? Well, those were the first signs of a brutal virus that would end up taking out half the team as the week went on. But more about that later. All right, it's probably gonna be straps all over the place, but I don't have time to strap everything up. We have this big old thing of fog Whew. coming in. So, we gotta get the shot nice and quick. That was fun. Wow. 
Oh, that's good fun. <laughs> I gotta switch bikes or fix these brakes. <laughs> oh yeah, these are awkward. Oh, I might be decent. Jeez. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Drop. All right, morning done, hey? Morning check. We got some really nice shots, especially in this last little bit here. And like the views and the light the and the clouds. Pretty, pretty fortunate to be here. It's awesome. Down to the van. had some lunch about to head down um, this was a track that was made for Bruni I think right like Bruni part of one of his edits right what are we doing what are we doing everybody this is John this amazing ridge line he's the man the guys are gonna go like 300 kilometers an hour yeah. into the clouds purposely built for Trans Madeira ah. and we're gonna get some beautiful footage I can guarantee you sounds good I was gonna say he's the man behind free ride Madeira you? And he uh, basically knows everything about everything, so... Not everything. <laughs> about Madeira and bikes. And having fun. Yeah, yeah. sounds good. <laughs> and on this lap, I'm switching to the stamina for the first time, so I am pumped about that. Been manualing beside the van for the gram. <laughs> All right, so it's size medium. Whoa, this feels so much better immediately than that last setup. All right, the ridge has disappeared. <laughs> this looks sick though. It'll look so good on GoPro. Oh man, but it looks much better without the clouds. Yeah, I got you. All right, you ready? Whoa, it's a little slick. God, this mud is really greasy. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Don't expect to see those guys in the view for very long. They are pro riders. So. Oh. Okay. I gotta get used to this bike. Oh, going from a large to a medium. Quite the change. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and these code brakes, they are super grabby. Oh my gosh. Whew. Oh. Ooh. There's a rut in. Oh. The weather here just changed so fast. Oh. Let's 
was fun. <laughs> Quite the rut. So the ocean's just in front of us. Not that you'd know. Wow, look at these ruts. I also haven't ridden a bike in about a month. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna wait for Beth. You all right? It's kind of hard getting thrown into it, eh? Wow. I know, hey? Like the rocks. We're used to BC rocks and we're like, oh, no worries. <laughs> it is not BC rocks. It's not gonna look like anything on camera, but so far, every single thing I've ridden, you, you have to pay attention to every single little foot in front of you. Into the trees. Oh, so greasy. Like, the dirt's not even that wet, but it's just, Greasy, and they said this is like the grippiest you're gonna get. <laughs> or at least the grippiest those guys have ridden so far. Oh, ah! Yeah, this is, holy smokes. This is so greasy. That's crazy. Let's see how Beth does. Frickin' worries me. <sighs> yeah, this dirt. Like, here's the dirt. Look at that. Just absolutely slippery, like ice. Isn't that wild? Ah! <laughs> There's a catch berm at the bottom. Oh, never mind. It looks steep for a second, but it's not. Probably still greasy. Oh, woo! Oh, so slippery. It's really hard to describe this terrain that I'm riding on. I've never ridden anything like it in my life. Oh. <laughs> that was cool. Ooh, this thing pedals nice. Definitely does not feel like 180 millimeters of travel here. like all these like eucalyptus leaves or trees reminds me a lot of Peru whoa <laughs> How cool is this? Whoa! Cool. All right. Oh. 
Oh, lost the pedal. Oh, it smokes. Oh, that's sick. So thankful for those little berms. Otherwise, these these corners would be really something. Even with the berms, the back tires just slipping and sliding. Whoa! To the right. Wee bit slippy. It was good though. Yeah. I had to try a couple of those little pops again because you kind of like run up to them, you don't know what's on the other side. Yeah. You're like, oh. <laughs> After that first lap, we got word that the ridge line should be all cleared up, so we headed back up to get some incredible sunset video and photos. And speaking of which, as kind of a, an early Christmas slash holiday present to everybody, you see these photos here? Well, if you look down in the description of this video, you'll find a Dropbox link where you can download all four in high resolution for your new desktop or screensaver background. Once we got those shots, the sun disappeared very quickly. So we were just filming until total last light, and now we have to go through the dark, dark jungle. It's getting darker by the second out here. It actually looks brighter on my phone than it is around me, so it's slick. Can't see much. Beth just hit me. <laughs> Let's try and survive, hey? Let's make it down. Yeah. Well, just barely made it down that time. Although you were riding faster <laughs> in the dark. It was less terrifying in the dark because I couldn't see anything. You couldn't see all the just, scary things. You couldn't see all the rocks, <laughs> you just go for it. Yeah. No, that was really good. I didn't have my GoPro on me, obviously, so you can't see it, but it was a really good time. Got lots of good shots. Now we're gonna go eat, hang out in the city. Look at that. Not bad. Thanks again for watching everybody. Make sure you download those desktop and screensaver photos down in the description. And if you do end up using them, we'd love to see it. So feel free to upload to Instagram and hashtag the Lone Ranger. All right, see you on the next one, everybody.